<laughs> hey, thank you for driving. Oh, no problem, no problem, man. I'm down the hatch. Alrighty, I'll take that for you. Hey, man, you got this? Yeah, I got it, man, thanks a bunch. Much appreciated. See you next week. See you next week. Hey, watch that step. There we go. Yes, sir, he was intoxicated, but a lot of people were drinking that night. To be honest, sir, it was your typical retirement party. So, how much did you see Batho drink? Sir, I couldn't give you an exact number, but every time I saw him, he had a beer in his hand. Mm. Would you call his behavior common for an event like this? Yes, sir, I would. I would agree, sir. I but I can say the same about a handful of other people. These are celebrations, and people are going to have a good time. Well, did either of you see anything outside of a party setting that would raise up any flags? His appearance is often unkempt. But that doesn't make him an alcoholic. No, it doesn't. But if he can't maintain grooming and uniform standards, then what does it say about his other duties? Well, you both make valid points. But know that if there weren't additional concerns on behalf of Lieutenant Betha, we would not be having this conversation. I still appreciate your time and your perspective. I'll see you both in class. You're dismissed. Well, it all started um, when Major Kingsley overheard us in class talking about Batho. That's why he called us in. But like I told the Major, I really don't think he's got a drinking problem. You got to remember, not everybody responds to alcohol the same. I mean, I've drank with the guy several times, and to be honest, I always thought he was kind of a lightweight. No, I don't like to drink. My family has a history of alcoholism, so I decided early on not to partake. I like parties and social gatherings, though. I'll gladly show up and have a good time, but I don't see the joy in getting so drunk you pass out on the living room floor. Are you referring to Lieutenant Batho? That's a common practice of Lieutenant Batho. Sure. I guess that you could say that it's happened a bit more often. But I think some of that has to do with this new medication that I'm taking. You're mixing alcohol with medication? No, no, not anymore. Not the night that you're referring to, either. I just needed some help for the car. Major Kingsley's concerns are valid without question. He's verified several accounts of Lieutenant Bethos drinking, and Kingsley himself has interacted with Bethos while he appeared disheveled and hungover. In my opinion, we need to call the ADAPT office and schedule an appointment immediately. The longer we wait, the higher the risk for everyone around the lieutenant. Calling myself that is embarrassing. I mean, I never thought of myself as an alcoholic. I mean, I drink. I, I drink a lot. I've, I've always drank a lot. I never thought about why I couldn't just stop at that one or two, because I never thought it was an issue. But lately, it uh, kind of feels like it is. Acknowledging that is a difficult step, Lieutenant, and we applaud your honesty. I've spoken with your commander, and she's encouraging you to seek the help you need without the fear of negative consequences. Now, our goal starting today is to increase awareness, understand the consequences, and really develop a plan for positive change. Do you understand, Lieutenant? I understand. <laughs> 